Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. I've got a fun video for you this week. I'm going to be showing you how to set up this Miller Multimatic 200 to do a little bit of lift arc TIG. Also, if you'd like to see some other videos about this welder, please click down there in the description. I'll put a link to the playlist that has all my videos about this welder. Also, if you'd like to see more general welding content, woodworking content, farm content, please click the subscribe button. Now, let's get on with it. All right, so the first thing we got to do here is uh, un plug the MIG connector here. This machine will not let you uh, do other processes while you have the MIG gun connected. Uh, you can also get a foot pedal for this. Uh, Miller makes a kit that has all the stuff along with it, but it's about 400 bucks, so I just decided I'm probably not going to be using foot pedal off this too much uh, since I am primarily anticipating using this for sort of restaurant uh, stainless steel. So it's going to be mostly lift arc, so that's what we're going to try out today. And then it comes with this gas hose that I'm just going to run over to my argon bottle. Alright, now this machine comes with one, with two different gas hookups here. You've got one for MIG, one for TIG. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this in our TIG port here and tighten it up here with a presser wrench. Right, now we're just going to connect this hose to our argon bottle here. Same thing applies, just snug it up a bit. Alright, so what we got to do here is disconnect our MIG cable, then we need to move our ground over here to the positive electrode since with TIG you run DC electrode negative. Now we just take this, plug it into our negative uh, port here and then go up here to our process selector and just go down here and switch lift to uh, lift arc and yeah we got it. Uh, let's see well, you can leave auto set on here. We'll try, sure, we'll try 330 second tungsten. And you can just kind of go along here and it'll select for you. Here's the TIG torch I picked up from HTP America here. Um, pretty good company to deal with. I uh, bought this off their eBay store. Pretty decent price too. It was $104.95, which uh, if you go to buy all this stuff separately is a lot more expensive than that. Last one of these Superflex hoses, I think I paid. 75, 80 bucks at Praxair. This just this gas through connector from Miller, I think, is about 40 bucks, and then a you know CK 17 series torch like this is about 40 bucks. So you know you do the math there. It's a pretty good deal to buy this as a kit. As soon as you touch it, there it starts the gas flow, which is really nice. You don't have to mess with turning it on, and it slowly ramps up the heat. So you don't contaminate your tungsten, which is also really nice. And when you come to the end here, all you have to do is kind of whip up. See if I can show you here. And it senses that you've broken arc and then go back down. And say if you're running a piece of restaurant stainless, you can maintain shielding on it really easily. So this is going to be a great machine. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can set this machine up for lift arc. Um, generally, when you're trying to set your amperage, what you can do is kind of go by uh, one amp per thousandth of an inch. Um, that tube is 125 thousandths wall thickness, so you can do that. But since it's a small piece, you can only just bump it down to about 75, 80 amps, something like that. And you can kind of play with it and get the feel for it. Once you get your amperage set like that, you really don't have to have a foot pedal to TIG like that. It, you know, once you get used to it, you can kind of vary how fast you move the torch and how much filler rod you put in and you can get just as good as you can with a foot pedal so anyway i really appreciate the feedback on my last video there um I, yeah project ideas we'll get some 7014s going here we'll do kind of a explanation of what process is for when and as always thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and uh, once again i appreciate the feedback more questions just shoot me a comment down there i do look at them and uh, we'll get some more videos going for you here soon anyway thank you for watching